whether it be during his heyday in the 80s and 90s or his career rebirth in the 2010s and beyond, Sylvester Stallone has consistently been one of the top stars Hollywood has to offer. But while he's most commonly known for his more muscular roles, he's also proven himself to be a performer of surprising depth at times, too. And the deeper you look into his six-decade-long filmography, the more evident this becomes. With so many great films to his name, however, it can often be difficult to know where to start. Luckily, though, there are some which stand out above the rest. In this list, we'll be taking a look at the top 10 Sylvester Stallone movies of all time. Number 10, Tango and Cash. If you don't want to get sticky, get back. Jack. Dun, 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 dun. You got it, sicko. In 1989, two of the biggest stars in Hollywood were Sylvester Stallone and Kurt Russell. And that was why when they finally came together that year to star in Tango and Cash, it was billed as the clash of the decade. Of course, in the movie itself, this clash would be presented in the form of the two playing the titular rival cops, each of whom are set up for a crime they didn't commit, and so forced to work together in order to clear their names. But while critical reception to this one would be mixed, general audiences at the time flocked to see it nonetheless and this made it all worthwhile for the stars involved, particularly Stallone as, while filming a scene where their SUV catches fire, he'd briefly put his life at risk when the flames didn't go out quick enough and his hair was burnt. Number 9, The Expendables 2 Rest in pieces! The first Expendables movie set the template for what the series would become, an action-packed throwback featuring a number of stars from the 80s and 90s. That said, it wouldn't be until the release of the sequel in 2012 that the whole thing was truly perfected. And that's because here, we get to see Sylvester Stallone and the rest of his crew take part in a mission which eventually leads them to the feet of rival mercenary Jean Villain. Of course, on the way there, we get to see a lot of explosions and a lot of flexed biceps too as things go full 80s in the best possible way. But that's not the only thing which made this one special as, aside from a brief cameo in the original film, this would mark the first time Stallone and his career-long rival, Arnold Schwarzenegger, would appear in a movie together. I'm out. Number 8, Cliffhanger. Get back! Get back! Go, Jesse, run! <laughs> By 1993, many people in Hollywood had already written off Sylvester Stallone as being a has-been and a relic of the prior decade. So, looking to prove his detractors wrong then, he'd set about creating an all-new hit for the 90s, Cliffhanger. And here, Stallone would play the role of Gabriel Walker, a former mountain climber and current rescue ranger who gets caught up in a heist involving a U.S. Treasury plane flying over the Rocky Mountains. But while there were plenty of thrills which played out in this one, one thing the star could not abide by was cruelty to animals, and this was why after seeing how negatively a test audience reacted to a scene of a rabbit being shot, he'd invest $100,000 of his own money so as to have it refilmed with a bunny surviving. Number 7, Escape Plan. I'll take care of it. No, wait, wait, wait. While Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger may have technically first shared the screen in the Expendables franchise, they would never really be co-leads in a movie together until the release of 2013's Escape Plan. And that's because here, they truly are on equal billing. But what's the story to this one? Well, while working undercover in a prison to test how secure it is, escape artist Ray Breslin, played by Stallone, quickly befriends Schwarzenegger's prisoner with a heart of gold. Of course, as things go awry and Stallone has to break free for real, he brings his new buddy along for the ride with him. But as it happened, this wasn't the first attempt at getting these two action heavyweights to co-star in a movie together. No, in fact, it had almost happened 16 years earlier as 1997's Face Off was originally supposed to feature them instead of Nicolas Cage and John Travolta. Boom. <laughs> Number 6, Demolition Man. Be well. Be fucked. One. Movies often like to look forward to the future and speculate about what might await us in the decades to come. And while 1993's Demolition Man may not be the most accurate portrayal of what 2032 Los Angeles will likely look like, it makes for an incredibly fun action romp regardless. 
But then, with Sylvester Stallone in top form here as John Spartan, a police sergeant from the 90s who's frozen and then thawed out again in the future, this was always going to be the case. So, when he and his co-star, Sandra Bullock, begin the hunt for his archenemy, Simon Phoenix, played by Wesley Snipes, every scene just works. That said, one scene which Stallone was not a fan of was the one where, early on in the film, his character is cryogenically frozen. In fact, he's since gone on record as saying that it was probably the worst five hours he's ever had on a movie set and that he was terrified throughout it. Number 5. Rambo By 2008, the Rambo franchise had long been dormant and was considered by many to be dead. But when Sylvester Stallone was able to successfully revive his Rocky series with the release of 2006's Rocky Balboa, it made him start to wonder if he shouldn't do the same here. And just as well he did then, because, after 20 long years away, John Rambo returns with a vengeance for this one. Of course, this includes much bloodshed as he helps a team of mercenaries sneak into Burma so as to rescue a group of Christian missionaries. But the real reason this one was set in Burma had nothing to do with glorifying war. No, it was because Stallone wanted to use his star power to shine a light on a real-life ongoing conflict which was largely being ignored by the media at the time. Number 4. Copland What is this? You came to me, to my town with all these speeches and you are talking to me about doing the right thing and I'm doing the right thing? What's going on? What are you doing? At the time, it may not have been a hit with critics or audiences, but as the years have gone on, more and more people have started to appreciate Copland for being a true hidden gem in the Sylvester Stallone back catalog. And a large part of the reason for this is his performance as Freddie Heflin, a local sheriff of a small New Jersey town who comes into conflict with the corrupt New York City police officers living amongst his community. Of course, while his character here has a lot of difficulty to overcome, the preparation for the role would be much more fun for Sly. And that's because, in order to gain the necessary weight, he'd take to eating a steady diet of giant pancakes from his local Waffle House. Number 3. Creed We're going nowhere. I am to you just an old trainer. That's what brought us together, you know? After the success of 2006's Rocky Balboa, Sylvester Stallone quickly realized there was still more juice left in the series. That said, with him feeling like his character's story had now largely been told, he was left with a conundrum about what to do next. Luckily then, he would figure this out when he decided to instead have things focus on him training the son of Apollo Creed, Adonis, here played by the excellent Michael B. Jordan. And part of the reason the surrogate father-son dynamic feels so strong here is because Stallone was directly channeling his relationship with his own son, Sage, someone who had tragically died while the film was in pre-production. Say it. I'm going to knock that son of a bitch down. I know you are. You know why? Because you are Creed and I love you, kid. Oh. Number 2. First Blood Why would you be carrying a knife like this? Hunting. Don't be a wise guy. With its sequels ultimately taking the franchise in a far more bombastic direction, it's easy to forget that the original First Blood is actually a quiet and contemplative affair. And that's because it features Sylvester Stallone in his second most iconic role as John Rambo, a Vietnam War veteran who returns home with a bad case of PTSD. So, when the local police take umbrage with him coming back and try to arrest him for vagrancy, he takes to the wilderness and there uses all his newly learned skills to evade them. But this one is no bloodbath. No, over the course of its runtime, in fact, only one person dies. And it's this, combined with how good he felt his overall performance was here, that has since led Stallone to name it his favorite of the entire series. Son of a bitch! Come on! Our number one pick is Rocky. Rocky, it's the chance of a lifetime. You can't pass it by. What do you say? When it comes to the greatest Sylvester Stallone movie of all time, how could we ever pick anything other than Rocky? After all, in giving us the character of the titular down-and-out boxer, Sylvester Stallone is able to deliver one of the greatest feel-good stories of all time here. Yes, over the course of its runtime, we see Rocky fall in love, get a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to fight the world champion, and then even go the distance with him in one of cinema's most iconic screen fights. And as it happens, even the writing of this would be inspirational. Why was that? 
Well, being a struggling young actor at the time, Stallone would try to make himself feel better one night by watching the 1975 fight between Chuck Wepner and Muhammad Ali. And it was there that, after seeing the relative nobody go the distance with the greatest of all time, he'd be inspired to write the screenplay for Rocky. Looking at the film's ratings, we find that Rocky received a strong 8.1 out of 10 on IMDb.com and a pretty good 70 from Metacritic. As for Rotten Tomatoes, they'd be more mixed, with them giving it 91% on the tomato meter and 69% given by the audience. And there we have it, the top 10 Sylvester Stallone movies of all time. No doubt you have your own list, so be sure to let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and get alerted of our next video. We'll hope to see you soon!